Welcome back to another video, guys. I am going to give a video today that will show you how to telephone activate your Windows 10 IoT Enterprise system. So um, I run into this fairly often where somebody in OEM might be building a system that um, cannot be connected to the internet, whether it be for security reasons or whatever the end user has. It could be a private network, something where the system is not on the internet doesn't have access to the internet. And in this video, I'm gonna focus on specifically how to telephone activate a system. It could also be that for some reason the system isn't activating because it's behind a firewall or it's having issues seeing the internet and you just wanna get that guy activated. Um, and in that case, you can always try telephone activation. I'm also gonna point out something new in this video. Microsoft recently changed um, the voice promptings on the telephone activation system and it made it very confusing for people and I'll show you that part when we get to it uh, because I'm going to take you through a telephone activation uh, live. So what you're looking at here is a, win a Windows uh, 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 um, and I'll show you that. I'm going to go into the settings. Um, you scroll down here to the update and security and then if you go to activate. Um, it's going to show me the addition right here, which is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. This is the brand new 2021 version based on build 21H2. Um, and then you can see it's got an error here that says we can't activate Windows on this device uh, as our activation servers aren't available. Usually if you see that, that it means the system just can't see the internet. And in this case, this is a, a virtual machine that is uh, not on the internet. So you can see I'm not connected to the internet. It has no internet access. And for that reason, it just won't activate. Now I have entered the 25 digit EPKEA single product key in here. That's a good key. Key's been tested. We know the key's good. There's no issues with the key. The operating system accepted the key because you can come in here and you can change the key um, right down here. So if you haven't entered your key yet, um, you can do that. Also, there is a button here to activate by phone, um, but I'm going to show you sort of the way we've always done it, which is you come over here and you click run and you already have the command there. It's SLUI4, S-L-U-I, um, the number four, which indicates a telephone activation process. So when I click OK to run that, it will pop up. And now I have to select um, a country. So I'm going to go down here and pick United States. Um, and keep in mind, sometimes even if, the, if this system's somewhere else in the world, it might be, it still might be a good idea to try to choose the United States if that's the situation. Now that we have that, I'm going to hit the uh, next button. And what it does is it gives you a telephone number, um, an 800 number, and then it gives you an installation ID. So now what you do is you take out your phone um, and you dial that 800 number, 855-801-0109-0109. And uh, just note that if you were trying to do this on Windows Server, that it's probably a different number, or Office, it's a different number. I'm doing Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. That's the number that pops up. And then when we call it, you're going to get a recording. And Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation Center. Para continuar en español, oprima dos. Pour continuer en français, appuyez sur le 3. To help us improve the quality of our product, services, and training, this call may be recorded or monitored. And information collected on this call may be accessed by Microsoft affiliates, subsidiaries, and service providers internationally. To consent to recording or monitoring of this call, press 1. Or to continue without... Thank you. This call may be recorded or monitored. There is a virtual assistant available on your Windows 10 device to troubleshoot and activate your product. Click the Start button. In the list of apps, look for Get Help and click on it to get started. No need to do that. For security purposes, please enter the following number on your phone's touchtone pad. Five, four, six. Thank you. 
Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation. If you're trying to Here's activate Windows 10, press 1. Otherwise, press 2. You're going to push 2. Are you at your computer? Yes. To reduce your effort, you can, you can also get one for yes. Using your for no. display instead of our audio self-help system. To get started, I'll need to send a text message to your smartphone. Carrier text and data rates may apply. First, are you calling from a smartphone? Good. Should I send you that text message? Great. I've sent you a text message. Just follow the link in the message to get started. If you receive text that message, up. feel free to hang up. So now you can hang up. So at that point, you're kind of you're done with the with the phone side of things. And as you can see, it had some trouble picking up the yes or no and switching between numbers. It's easy to just hit one for yes, two for no. And all those last questions were yes. The big question was, are you trying to activate a Windows 10 system? Um, and it, this is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, so most people are going to go yes. And if you had chosen yes, you're going to go down a road where they're going to ask some other questions about upgrading and the key, key and uh, and uh, so most of my customers have been getting completely lost in this rat mess of questions that will lead you to being transferred to a live person. And so well, let me tell you something from doing this for 30 years, doing phone activation for 30 years. If you ever get transferred to a live person, you might as well just hang up because you've done something wrong or your key is maxed out. It's been activated too many times. That person that you speak to will not be able to increase your key uh, activations and they will not be able to give you a new key. So they literally will not be able to help you. So if you get transferred to a live person, just hang up, start over. Maybe you went down the menu a wrong way. Um, and again, in this situation, it says, are you trying to activate a Windows 10 system? The correct answer is no, uh, because this is not Windows 10 Home or Pro. This is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. From there, you're going to get a text on your phone with a link that's going to open up a web page where you're going to then enter um, those numbers there, the installation ID. You're going to enter them into your phone. And then when you've got them all entered, all nine of those, you're going to submit it and it's going to um, come back and give you numbers that you're going to type into these boxes right here. Now, for this video's sake, I'm not going to take the time to go through that process of entering all these numbers, making you guys watch all that. But ultimately, once I enter all those numbers into these boxes, I'm going to hit activate windows and it's going to activate the operating system. So again, if you ever get transferred to a live person, just hang up, start over. You, you, you did something wrong. When it says, is this Windows 10? No, it is not. It's Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, and that will get you through the activation process. Again, if it's Windows Server, going to be a different process, a little different thing. They're going to ask a few different questions, but same rules apply if you get transferred to a live person. Either your key is maxed out or you've made a wrong choice in the menu. Something's not right. Um, I will also add from experience, if they ask you how many systems are you installing this license on, the correct answer is always one because the licenses are always one to one, one license for one system. If you type in, you know, 10 or seven or eight, it's going to kick you to a live person because you're not allowed to do that, right? It's one license per one system. And it is okay. You are allowed to reload a system and reactivate it as many times as you like. But at some point, the key is going to force, going to max out. So if you have further questions, um, get with us here at Arrow and uh, let, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.